The Wisconsin Badgers lost to the James Madison Dukes 72-61 in the first round of the NCAA tournament, finishing their season on a disappointing note after earning a number 5 seed in the South region. It was an ugly game from the beginning for the Badgers, who dealt with turnover issues as they couldn't deal with James Madison's physicality. A.J. Storr and Chucky Hepburn, who were the heroes for the team during the Big Ten tournament, struggled, and the Badgers could never really get a rhythm during the loss. The defeat to James Madison sends Wisconsin home during the first weekend once again, as they've now failed to make the Sweet 16 since 2017. Although they ended the season with promise entering the tournament, they're now heading home as the second Big Ten team to lose in the first round, joining the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Here are three quick takeaways from the Badgers' 72-61 loss to James Madison. Slow start Wisconsin had one of the ugliest halves of their season, putting up just 20 points in the first half, while shooting 6 23rds in the period and 1 6th from three. From the jump, Wisconsin looked sluggish and was no match for James Madison's physicality, leading to a number of early turnovers. That, added to the intensity of a crowd that favored James Madison, led to Wisconsin starting extremely slow and unprepared. A.J. Storr really struggled in the first half, shooting just two ninths and forcing a number of shots at the rim that didn't go his way. Add in a scoreless half from Chucky Hepburn and the Badgers got minimal contributions from their top two players to begin the game. Overall, Wisconsin didn't seem to match the toughness that James Madison presented, coughing up the ball consistently as they tried to penetrate the lane and failing to convert inside the paint. Stephen Crowell was the lone player who saw success early, but the Badgers didn't provide him with many touches. After scoring eight points on three quarters from the field over the first 11 minutes of the first half, Crowell didn't get a shot for the next 8.50. When that opportunity came, it was on a three-pointer, which missed. Despite having the size advantage in that matchup, Wisconsin didn't go to it early, while the Dukes did a good job of playing physical to deny entry passes. Now, James Madison didn't have a stellar first half by any means, as they shot just 37.5% from the field in the period and only 25% from deep. But, they found a way to fight for six offensive rebounds and took advantage when opportunities were there, especially off turnovers, more on that in a minute. That led them to have a 33-20 lead going into halftime, with the Badgers being lucky that it wasn't more, given their struggles. Turnovers turnovers were the difference in this game. After averaging just 9.7 turnovers a game entering March Madness, the Badgers coughed up the ball seven times in the first eight minutes of the game.